every single YouTube filmmaker has used at some point, and that was speed ramping. Speed ramping is the gradual change of a clip speed rather than just having a straight cut in between different clip speeds. It can be used in many styles, including big exaggerated movements, or it can be used more subtle like the sequence at the start of this video. This effect is super popular because it's such an easy way to up a video's production quality and it just looks sick. That being said, speed ramping in Adobe After Effects can be a little bit confusing, but in my opinion, it creates the smoothest looking speed ramps. So I thought I'd make a tutorial on my speed ramping workflow. Also just wanna say, this is gonna be a really boring video for the majority of the people who subscribe to this channel. I doubt anyone subscribed even edits videos but I'm going to upload a video next week where I actually go out and shoot. So if you're not interested in this one, just skip it. And yeah, there'll be a new video next week. Also, I'm no expert in editing. Um, I'm still constantly learning and I'm probably doing something majorly wrong in this tutorial. But I struggled with speed ramping in After Effects for about a year. There was no tutorial that just covered every single aspect of it. So this is just personally my workflow between Premiere Pro and After Effects so I can edit it in a project. So hopefully this tutorial helps someone out there. So yeah, I'm going to hop onto my computer now, open Premiere Pro and uh, I'll I'll show you guys how it's done. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I speed ramp um, using After Effects. I'm not even gonna lie, I already filmed this, but I forgot to record my screen when I did it, so I'm redoing it now. Um, as you can see, I've got my two clips here, and first thing I'm gonna do is go to the first clip, double finger click, and go up to replace with After Effects composition. I'm gonna click on that. After Effects will take a minute or so to open. So now you can save your clip as whatever, I'm just gonna save it as Clip track tool. Hit save and then your clip's gonna open in After Effects. Now I'm gonna go over to where it says full click on this, go down a quarter and hit that. Um, this just means your clip's gonna play at a quarter of quality and it's much easier on your computer to render rather than having it on full quality. It doesn't affect it in the final project and it just speeds up your workflow a ton. So now I'm gonna hover over my clip double finger click on this and go up to time, enable time remapping, and you're gonna see the effect is gonna pop up here. So first things first, we're gonna set a keyframe at the start of our clip and then a keyframe at the end of our clip right here. And now we're gonna scroll through and find sort of where we want the transition to start. Um, I think here will look good, so I'm gonna hit my keyframe. And then now I'm going to grab the end keyframe and drag it towards this one. The closer you have it to the first keyframe, the more intense the effect's gonna be. So as you can see, this will be super fast. You can't even really see it, that's how fast it is. If I drag it out somewhere around here, the effect's gonna be a lot more gradual and you'll really be able to notice the ramp. I think there looks good, I'm gonna leave it there. Now I'm gonna click and drag over these two keyframes, go into the graph editor, which is over here, click on that and this should come up. But if it doesn't, this is where I was stuck for about a year. Speed ramping was the first thing I did in After Effects. And for some reason, when I clicked on Graph Editor, my After Effects defaulted to Edit Value Graph. This is not what you speed ramp in and no tutorials seem to cover this. So I was just stuck here trying to work out how I could speed ramp with this. I didn't really want to click any buttons or try anything because I was so scared of like messing up my After Effects or something. But if you have this problem, all you have to do is come down here where it says choose graph type and options, click on here and go edit speed graph. So now we have this up, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on this first point where we wanted the effect to start and I'm gonna drag down on this all the way to the bottom. And now I'm gonna grab this point here and drag it back. If it bumps up like this, you can just hold it and drag it back down and it should clip back into place. So as you can see, we've got a bit more of a ramp now and all I'm gonna do is grab this point here and drag it back. And if we watch it back now, you can see it's a lot more of like a gradual progression and then it really ramps up right at the end. So now I'm gonna click back on Graph Editor. The next part's optional. I think it looks really good though. I'm gonna go over to Effects and Presets. I'm gonna look up Force Motion Blur and then I'm gonna drag it onto the clip. What this is gonna do is stimulate motion blur. As you can see, when it gets faster, the motion blur kind of really increases, especially towards the end. I think it'll be a lot more visible on the next clip, but if I turn it off, you can see how it's affecting the clip and then back on. And then I'm gonna go over to the motion blur samples. I'm gonna type in 30. And what this does is it just adds a lot more frame samples into it so your motion blur won't look 
as choppy and it will look even more realistic. So now I'm gonna click Command S, which is gonna save it. I'm gonna open Premiere Pro and your After Effects video is gonna be right here. So now I'm gonna go up to Sequence, click on Render Selection and just let that render. Okay, so now the clip's rendered and as you can see, we've got our speed ramp, but we've got sort of like an overhang from our After Effects composition and the clip bounces backwards. That's a super simple fix. You just go through and then you can see the frame starts to bounce backwards. So I'm just gonna click C, cut that right there, V, delete that. And now we've got our speed ramp. Now I'm just gonna go back into the After Effects comp, click out of that and we can start on our second clip. So I'm gonna drag it up, do the same as before, two finger click, replace with After Effects composition. I'm gonna save this as clip ramp. It's gonna open up. I'm gonna turn my quality down to quarter. We're gonna do the same as before, two finger click, time, enable time remapping. For some reason, sometimes it sets two keyframes when you enable time remapping. I don't know why it does that. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but if it doesn't, do what I did before and just add the keyframes in. And now I'm gonna look for where I kind of want this speed ramp to end. I kind of think here looks about right. So I'm gonna add another keyframe and then I'm gonna click and drag over these two and then drag them forward to about, like one second will look good. Now I'm gonna click and drag over these two, graph editor, and we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did before. Drag down, drag over, and then we're gonna push this back. So now we've got our speed ramp, I'm gonna click back off the graph editor, over to effects and presets, force motion blur, we're gonna drag that onto the clip and put that to 30. Now, as you can see here, there's a lot more motion blur in this clip. So if I go off and on, you can see it just adds that motion blur and makes the transition look super clean, uh, in my opinion. Make sure it looks all good and then hop back into Premiere Pro. So I'm watching it back now and it looks all good. So I'm gonna hit Command S, close this, and it will be in our Premiere Pro project. I'm just gonna cut it about here because I know it won't be that long. We're gonna render that selection. So now both of my clips have rendered out and this is what it looks like. I think it looks really good, uh, but I'm just gonna add one more little thing just to make the transition a little bit smoother. Um, so I'm gonna drag this clip up, one, two, three, four, back, drag this clip across. Click up onto our tractor clip, effect controls, hit the keyframe, and then one, two, three, put that to zero, and now, and now that should look a bit smoother. So that's gonna wrap this video up. Hopefully I've taught someone something. It's definitely one of those things where it's hard at the start, but once you learn the process, it becomes super easy. So yeah, I'm gonna shut up now and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I was a terror since the public school era. Bathroom passes, cutting classes, squeezing asses. Smoking blood.